Hi, um, this is example 5.5.1 from page 214 of the Duffy and Beckman text. Um, the previous problem we just did was for a single cover system. Um, this problem uh, is about two covers. Um, and uh, the glass panes that make up this uh, two cover system have a uh, KL um, of 0 0.0370 per pane. Um, and the absorber of this system has an absorptivity or alpha equal to 0 0.90. If you're not familiar with my notation, a W with a slash means width, and then alpha is the absorptivity there. Um, we are asked to find um, the uh, tau alpha product. Let me just back up a bit so that I can make that clear as mud. The tau alpha product um, at 50 degrees angle of incidence. Um, so this problem, uh, the best way to start it off is uh, using um, figure uh, 5.3.1 from the text um, where you can find from that figure that at uh, that the transmissivity at that incidence angle of 50 is simply 0 0.75 so that's an approximation uh, using that figure um, and then the next really important piece of the puzzle is uh, to look at um, figure 5.5.1 .5 um, has some footnotes. So look at footnote 2, footnote number 2 of figure 5.5.1. Um, and this figure gives a really great representation of what's happening inside of a uh, cover absorber system where the light is, is reflecting back and forth within the system and um, you're trying to figure out what the overall transmissivity and absorptivity product is. Um, so from that footnote we can see that um, with a KL of 0 0.0370 um, rho sub d, the reflectivity sub d um, is 0 0.22. So that's pretty important. Um, and once we know those two pieces, this 0 0.75 and 0 0.22, uh, we can then use um, equation 5.5.1 .5 um, to calculate the tau alpha product using these values. So what you end up with is 0 0.75 times 0 0.90, which is the absorptivity, um, divided by 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.90 times 0 0.22, all of that in the denominator. Um, and so you get a tau alpha product when you crunch those numbers of 0 0.69. Um, and this is um, essentially a, a property of the overall system. It's not, a, it's not simply the product of tau times alpha. There's, it's a little bit more involved and it has to do with the interreflections within the system as well. Um, but this can be uh, this is a very useful metric um, to help um, 
assess one system against another when you're in, in light of the transmission properties and the absorption properties of the materials in the system. So thanks for listening. This has been example 5.5.1 from the text.